hey folks, it's your man Manny, and I'm here with Ajax. Ajax is a pretty stout, strong dog who came to us with some reactivity issues. So what I want to talk about right now is how do we introduce him to this transitional leash called the sidekick, which is produced by Heather's Heroes. This is a great slip lead um, that also can be used in a similar way as a halty, where it goes around his snout. So we have this fitted on him properly, and I want to go over first and foremost what type of environment we should be in and what type of headspace we should be in when we're introducing a new training tool to our dog. First of all, we should be somewhere calm. If you were to look around here, you wouldn't see anything moving in a way that's going to distract Ajax. Even my dogs that are down there, they're actually asleep and just napping. So it's a calm environment and it's not anywhere new. Ajax has been out here a lot of times. We spent time playing here with him. We spent time working with him with food. So this isn't someplace unfamiliar to Ajax. The other thing that I want us to think about is what type of headspace am I in? I want to be in a calm headspace where I really have the time and the attention span to really focus on him and introducing this leash and being aware of how is he feeling and how am I feeling. So this means I want to have my phone put away and I want to set aside, you know, five to 15 minutes to work on this with him. When I first put a halty on a dog, sometimes there might be a little bit of a struggle. The dog might want to try to take the halty off or perhaps they think that we're going on a walk and they start walking away. All I do is I use just two fingers here and I apply pressure upward. I don't need to say anything to the dog during this process. That could distract them or perhaps confuse them. I stay very calm and I just apply a little bit of pressure and the dog sits down. Good boy. If I needed to or I found that it was helpful, I could say to the dog, good job. You'll notice I'm not using any food. The reason I'm not using any food is because I primarily want this dog to understand that the leash is something that creates calmness. Because this dog tends to get very, very excited on the leash and be reactive on the leash, I want to introduce this new leash to him in a way that says very clearly, this is about being calm. You can see that there's a distraction he sees in the background. That's one of my dogs, you know, who changed her napping position. And when he walks over to it, I just tug ever so gently back towards me. So what you're going to see me do now is just work on walking with him. In this process, it's really important that I'm not using an excessive amount of pressure to force the dog. It's very important that I am patient and I am applying pressure and I'm letting him think and feel the pressure. If I apply pressure upward, I let him think. He goes, oh man, there's pressure. When he goes to sit down, I relieve the pressure. Let's go. If he gets away from me and I apply pressure back in my direction, I could just use one finger to hold the leash. Good boy. This is very much about the feeling of us being calm together just as much as it is about us actually training and learning something new. So if I find myself getting frustrated or he's getting frustrated, I just need to slow down and be patient and wait. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. So you can see, just walking back and forth. Maybe even going in the opposite direction that he's anticipating we might be going in. Is helping him understand how to walk with me calmly using this leash to guide him and the sensation that this leash provides on his snout. Good boy. Let's go. I can also just walk back and forth in one direction and then turn and go back again. 
and have him practice staying on the same side that he's on, which in this case is my left side. I can stop. Good boy. Now you may find that your dog does best after they've had some exercise. You may find your dog does best first thing in the morning. That may be when they're the most calm. The most important thing is that you really focus on doing this when you and your dog are in a calm state of mind and a calm environment. Good job, buddy. So as always, folks, remember, we don't blame them. We train them. And if you click the link below, you can see my website where you can see a link to my poetry book and you can book one-on-one -on -one training sessions with me if you ever need some additional help.